Hi, in this video we'll learn about first found element. So let's get started. First found element exactly work as it sound. It's a group element which is used to detect the first occurrence of a sub element in the group. So let's see how we can use first found element. So for demonstration of this element, I have used two different invoices. You can see is so in add on inc and here we have this invoice number field and this value is present below to this field number and in second document in goldsmith manufacture in this one invoice number is present on a right side so will you will create a single first found element to identify this field okay so what we have to do now I have already created this static text for identifying a company name and invoice number. So after that what we have to do just right click on search element and click on add element and then select first form. Click on OK and inside this one we'll create a group. So again click on add element and we'll select group we'll give name as gg underscore in a ton a t o n and here we'll give a condition we'll give a reference element as keyword in at on inc and it will say do not find element if reference element is not found click on add condition and apply and ok now inside this group what we have to do we have to take a correct string so just click on add element and we'll select correct string And here we'll give name as CS underscore invoice number. We'll go to correct testing tab and here we'll select only numbers because in invoice number contains only number numbers. So we'll select this one and click on OK. Now we'll go to relation tab and here we'll select this nearest option and we'll give reference element as invoice number click on apply and ok so we'll test for this document we'll see how it is working ok so we'll click on first found so we can see it's highlighting this invoice number so now what we have to do for this document this invoice number again we'll create one more group so right click on first found and then click on add then select group here we'll say gg underscore goldsmith okay and again we'll add a condition reference element will be keyword j goldsmith and here we'll say do, is not found click on add condition click on apply and okay Again, we'll create a correct testing and we'll select correct testing. So here we'll give name as CS. Okay. Yeah, we'll give name as CS underscore 
invoice number and inside this character string tab since this particular invoice number contains alphabets then hyphen then numbers also so we have to make a combination accordingly so we'll select this one and these numbers then we'll select this numbers we'll include this one also and this one and this one now click on ok now we'll go to relation and here we'll select this option nearest option and we'll give reference as a invoice number click on apply and ok so now we'll test it okay i will click on first form so it's including this isn number also so what we have to do we have to restrict it from right side so we'll click on cs number and then we'll add some relation we'll give references invoice number and we'll select right right we'll give some offset here as 10 or make it 20 no it's fine click on add relation and apply and ok we'll just test it again control E and now it's identifying this number so we'll test this document also one more time we'll press ctrl e okay so it's working for this one as well so for mapping this one what we have to do inside this block what we have to do we'll take okay so we already have invoice number we'll use this one we'll enable it and then we have to select a layout so layout is search element and inside this source We have to select first round click on apply and ok so this is how you can use a first found element so that's all for this video thank you for watching